Mercedes-Benz opening its first uh, dedicated EV charging hub in North America. Let's get to Phil LeBeau now with a special guest. Hey, Phil. Hey, Joe, we're uh, in Atlanta here at the Mercedes-Benz headquarters. Morning, Dimitri Salakis, who is the CEO of Mercedes-Benz USA, in the first dedicated Mercedes charging station, a charging hub. Why open a dedicated network? A lot of people would sit there and say, well, there's enough chargers out there. Why go dedicated? First of all, we're here at the Mercedes-Benz headquarters in Atlanta. And this is uh, truly the first Mercedes-Benz high charging power network uh, for North America. Why, why network? Because we are convinced that the future is electric, uh, electric mobility and electric vehicles. And for that, we're building for our customers convenience. We're offering them Mercedes-Benz branded uh, charging network, high power, fast charging, but also include the convenience of a charging um, uh, lounge, as we call it, where the customers can sit while they're waiting for the vehicle to get charged. You've been pushing electric hard for the last couple of years here in the United States, longer than that, actually. Um, do you hear back from customers that they're frustrated when it comes to charging their vehicles outside of their homes on, on the network of whatever public station they may want to try to recharge it? The customers want to go electric, but they have hesitations. They have worries. It's the worry of range. How far can my vehicle go and how fast can my uh, vehicle charge or where can I charge my vehicle? We take that into account and we try to offer this convenience, as I said before, meaning the vehicle can drive itself, not aut autonomously, but can drive through the navigation system to the next charging station, to our Mercedes-Benz charging station. They can reserve the space, it can reserve the time for charging, and in 15, 20 minutes, you can get enough juice on the vehicle to run your trip. You are targeting 400 of these in the U.S. by the end of the decade. How many of these are going to initially be in California, where your sales are growing extremely fast, uh, and the market is red hot right now for electric vehicles. So the planning is to go where the customer drives our vehicles most. So we know where we sell our vehicles, we know, we know where our vehicles are being driven by our customers, and we try to plant this uh, location, Mercedes-Benz charging station, close to the use that our customers are having. California, Florida, Texas, Georgia, obviously, are states where we go fast. And you know, have announced uh, collaboration with Pakis and, and, and Simon, and these are places where our customers are using in their travels. Do you find that the questions about EVs right now, and there's a lot of questions about the growth slowing down, still growing, maybe not growing as quickly as it was before. Is this what you would expect at this stage of the EV market developing, or do you look at this and say, it's a little bit of a bump, but things will continue to accelerate? We follow customer demands, and we're offering electric vehicles, we're offering plug-in hybrids, and of course, our telecombustion engine vehicles. I wouldn't say the, the speed of adoption has slowed down, but it's not as initially uh, planned. One thing is clear, uh, if electric vehicle adoption is not a sprint, it's a marathon, and we're still at the very beginning of this long, long run. Again, offering all solutions, customer can choose, but what is our conviction is offering convenience, offering to the customer charging stations, connectivity of the vehicle, and making his life as much as possible easy while owning and driving an electric vehicle. Quick answer, give me a ballpark estimate when we really start to see the price of electric vehicles here in the U.S. come down. Is it later this decade? Is it after 2030? I think this is very much based on, on, on technology. The battery, battery is, is an expensive component of the products, and uh, that will come later in the decade, but, but obviously not yet. Dimitri Salakis, CEO of Mercedes-Benz USA. Guys, you would love this dedicated charging station like this. I mean, you can go inside and get yourself a cup of coffee. This is what they believe is, uh, is key to getting people into electric Mercedes.